All right, what's going on, y'all? Uh, it's been a minute since I made a video. Um, so I just wanted to get back to everybody and give y'all an update on my renovation projects. Pretty much got everything done um, as far as I want. The only thing that I'm missing, well, there's a bunch of aesthetic things that I'm missing, but the only major project that I'm missing now is I want a banquet uh, bench seating in the kitchen and a table to go with that so once i'm able to get that well it's gonna be a minute but once i'm able to get that then i would have uh considered my home renovation projects complete um on the outside of the house um i probably wouldn't mind like a seating area in the backyard but i'm not trying to do that like i'm all the way sober from um trying to work on any more projects 20 years from now when i get the bug again I plan on trying to renovate the master bathroom and maybe make a walk-in closet for the, uh, the master bedroom. So, but that's not going to be anytime soon. Um, I gave up soda again. Um, so I'm one month sober in sobriety from Coca-Cola. Um, last time I gave it up, it was about six or eight months. And then um, situation happened back in like April or, or Mar no. It's like, yeah, April, March, I started back up again, but um, I gave up soda again at the beginning of this month, and actually it was a, a whole lot easier than the other times that I had, including my eight months uh, off. I didn't go through real bad headaches, fortunately, and uh, I think it's more mental. Like, I, kn I know that I can do it now, so it was, it was an easier hurdle to get over. Um, so I've set a goal for myself. I hate to say New Year's resolutions because I don't do New Year's resolutions. So I got a goal for the new year, um, just a random workout goal that I want to be able to try to bench press 225 pounds 20 times. Now, that's an, that's an outrageous goal. Um, it's not going to be anything easy. I may not even get it. I weigh 170 pounds, but I figured I'd just set the bar high. I think... Um, I think someone that's able to bench press 225, 20 times, I think their one time uh, max bench is like 364. So that's an unreasonable amount of weight um, for, for a person my size. Um, but I figured, hey, what the hell? At least it'll keep me busy and trying to do something for the entire year. So um, I, I'm going to start on Monday, um, start you know working at my goal at somehow some way first i got to get up to 20 you know 225 times 10 times or whatever the situation may be or however many times i can get it but uh it's going to be a minute before i work my way up to um to 20 times so i'll keep you posted on that um i did recently purchase um a massage chair as well as uh, as well as a bed um, not because I was trying to splurge or anything like that, but I felt like it would enhance my quality of life. Notice I said quality of life. Um, assist with some lower back pains. Um, black people keep their beds for forever, so I can't even tell you how old my bed is. I think they say you're supposed to uh, get a new mattress every 10 years. Well, my son is, is 20. Had the bed before him, I'm sure. My daughter's 13. I know I had the bed before her, so it was way overdue. So my, I had, I was sleeping with like a pillow. I sleep on my side, so my angle is, is bad from, you know, your shoulders are higher than your hips and put a crease in your body. So um, it was contributing to some, some lower back spinal um, crookedness is all I could think of. So bought a new mattress. Um, and it, the head folds up and the feet folds up and it's some kind of special pe posturepedic or something like that. And I got a massage chair to kind of help with that too. Um, that also helped me out uh, when I start trying to get my goal of, of benching 225 pounds 20 times. Pray for me on that. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's basically it. That's all. Uh, I took a long hiatus off from doing renovation projects, so I'm back motivated on the tail end of it. I only had a little bit left, but I couldn't find the motivation. All I really needed to do to make the house look somewhat presentable was paint the living room, cut and um, install the baseboards, and that, that was it. And, you know, small, minor details like putting the 
the um, base plate, not the base plates, but the covers on the light switches and the, and the plugs. And I just couldn't find the motivation to do it. So it's been about about two and a half months since I stopped working on a renovation project. So this weekend I was kind of busy. I did, you know, put the, the plugs, plates on the hallway uh, as well as the light switches. So it felt good not to have exposed light switches anymore. Um, I still got to caulk the uh, the baseboards, but I've, I've gotten damn good at cutting, base, cutting baseboards, the angles on baseboards. So I'm quite proud of myself um, to be a novice. So I want to motivate y'all. Anybody that's ever been thinking about doing home renovations or DIY projects, I encourage you to do it. The hardest thing is, is just finally getting the tools that you need to be proficient in whatever it is that you're doing. So it's the, the work really wasn't that hard for me. It's time consuming, but it really boiled down to just having the right tools. Um, so tools make a hell of a difference and, and you'll spend a lot of your money um, purchasing tools if you plan to do big renovation projects and stuff. But the good thing about it is once you have them, you always have them. You don't you don't have to go out and get them again. My my logic was I'd rather spend the money on purchasing it than um, rent it and give the money away and still end up with nothing. So I'm kind of a, a stickler with my money. So I have a difficult time just giving somebody my money and then not having anything in return. So with that being said, uh, if you have any DIY projects that you're working on or will be working on, share those with me. If you have any renovation projects that you, you want to tackle, share those with me. Maybe we can, um, you know, collaborate ideas or at least, you know, motivate each other through some things. And most importantly, if you have any ideas or workouts on how I can increase my strength, to assist me with getting my goal of 225 times, 20 times, I would greatly appreciate it. So if you're a workout guru, or if you just got something that works for you, let me know. I, I'm not interested in um, necessarily being fit. I'm a junk food bandit, so I have no aspirations on, on having the perfect physique as far as like a six pack or something like that goes. That's, that's not for me because I'll never eat right. Um, I'd rather eat ice cream and, and, and stuff like that. So having a six pack, realistically, it that's that's not anything that I would ever aspire to. Any anything that has to do with eating, dieting, and, and meal prepping. That meal prepping is nothing but eating leftovers every day. Not gonna do it. So uh, anything outside of that, if you have some motivation or some workout tips, let me know. If some DIY projects, renovation ideas, let me know. Keep me posted. And that's all I got. Thanks.